Good morning. Today we are headed to Volcano Bay. It's an exciting day because we haven't been to Volcano Bay in over a year. And this is also Jackson's first time at Volcano Bay. They have a fun toddler area called Tatiki Reef that I think he is going to love. So on the way into Volcano Bay, you have to pass through this themed tunnel that has seashell lights up on the ceiling. And in the skylights, they have these giant carved heads welcoming you in. So on your way into Volcano Bay, be sure to stop and take a look at some of the details in this hallway. And then we come to the iconic Volcano Bay sign just before ticketing and just before the turnstiles. It should be noted that this is a fantastic spot to grab a photo on the way into the park. So let's head inside. During the pandemic, we actually dropped Jen's pass down to one that doesn't have Volcano Bay on it. So I think we need to add Volcano Bay back to her pass or buy a single day pass also, oh, I just went away. It was like, rent a piece of paradise with a cabana. Oh, guess what we're doing? Getting a cabana. We've never actually rented a cabana at Volcano Bay. This is our first time. We are so excited. I'm very excited. I mean, I cannot wait. <laughs> As we're waiting to talk to guest services, I wanted to point out that the guest services counter looks like a boat. All right, Jen has upgraded her pass to a three park. So it means we'll be going to water parks more often. I hope so. But also the one day ticket to Volcano Bay was like $99.50 and then to upgrade it was like $117. Yeah, after tax and everything was $117. So, but it was $117, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it was definitely worth it to just upgrade my pass. Oh yeah. I can't wait to come back to Volcano Bay. Me either. So we are getting ready to go through our checkpoint and get our Tapu Tapu. All right, so they handed us our Tapu Tapu as soon as we walked in and we scanned our tickets. And this is how we reserve our virtual lines. We'll show you a little bit more about that in just a minute once we get to a Tapu Tapu touch point. This, this kind of shows you wear it, fasten it securely with two straps, and they added like a little rubber band to it too. Use it to add virtual lines and more, and then return it when you exit the park. And we actually have our setup so that we can charge to it too. I'm trying to put my Tapu Tapu on. It's kind of hard to put it on one-handed, so if you're here by yourself, I don't know how you're gonna get your thing on. Did you get you got it? it? Yeah. Nice. There it is. You did it. Look at that. This is the pinnacle of fashion. It is. Water park fashion. So right now the park opens at 10, so it's a little bit before 10, so we are here for early park admission. All of the hotels get in early today, but also because we got a cabana, we get in early today too. So right now they are queuing people up to the right for general park entry, and all the other people staying at hotels go to the left. Ooh. Look at that. Crack a towel. Fun fact about this volcano is a lot of people think that it's called Krakatoa, but it's actually pronounced Krakatau. So from that sign that I just showed, over to the left is this concierge hut. And this is where we are going to check into our cabana. Also right next to it, there is a sign that tells you a little bit more information about Volcano Bay. And this is will be where you see the wait times. Everything, everything's right now, right now. So you don't even have to tap your tapu tapu. Just go right on. Did want to point out that all of the cabanas are sold out today and all the premium seating is sold out for today. We're headed back to our cabana right now. There is a concierge team member who will escort you back to your cabana. So you know exactly which one is yours. And then they kind of will walk you through all of the amenities at the cabana when you get there. So that's what we're doing right now. We're headed back. All right, we are still headed back to our cabana and we are near Maka Puihi. The Fearless River is right down here, which is the like fast lazy river. Yeah. Te, Awa. Te Awa. There's a Tapu Tapu touch point right here where you can reserve your ride times. But the cool thing about the cabana is that we actually have a, ta a Tapu Tapu touch point in our cabana. Something that's really awesome though is right now everything is ride now. Yeah, so there the are no waits. Open, yeah. yeah. Buddy, are you so excited? All right, so here we are. This is our cabana for the day. This is cabana number 15A. This is actually an assess accessible cabana because it has a sidewalk that leads up to it and it's on the bottom floor. If you had purchased an accessible cabana and gotten the top floor, they also have an elevator available to get up to the top level. So here's everything that we get. It's a gigantic lounger over here. A couple of chairs. There's also some curtains for some privacy. The table here in the center and that comes with a little like fruit basket here something new that they're doing right now is they're giving antibacterial hand sanitizer during the pandemic got a volcano bay cookie some danishes some pineapple some banana some muffins down there a little baby running through 
We have a locker right here, which has just our cooler in it right now. And they gave us a key. Jackson actually has the key around his wrist right now. Where's your key? Where's your bracelet? Yeah, that's it. So we would be able to lock that up and put any valuables in there and then just take the key with us. There is also a refrigerator here so we can put anything that we want in there, but there is also 12 waters available. And our the person that brought us to the cabana said, if you need more waters, tell him not a server because the servers will charge you, whereas he will just bring you a free water. They also said that the cabana comes with six towels and they won't give you extra towels, more than the six, but they will replace the six with clean towels. Right. So if we all went into the water and we used up three of the towels, they'd bring us three clean towels. Yeah. This was a menu and a map on here and some silverware that come with the cabana. I wish they gave us like checkers to play. That'd be fun. <laughs> well, I there, imagine that we're not going to be having time to play checkers. We're going to be in the know. water. There's also an outlet here. So if you need to charge any phones or anything like that, there's an outlet. This is our very own Tapu Tapu touch point where we can view the map, view the drink menu, view the food menu or pick a ride. So if you wanted to pick a ride, you can see what all of the wait times are right now or what the return times are. So we already made a reservation for Krakatau and right now it's a 55 minute wait. When we booked it, when we put it on our Tapu Tapu, it was a 40 minute wait. And if we look at our Tapu Tapu right now, it says there's only 30 minutes remaining in our wait time. So basically we are in line right now waiting to go on the water roller coaster, but we're not standing in a physical line. We're standing in a virtual line. There are also all of these other things here. You can see they say enjoy anytime. Or if you see something that says ride now, that means I'm assuming they say zero minutes for ride now. So on this particular touch point, it says zero minutes and that means ride now. So you don't have to get a return time to go on Maku, Puihi, Teawa, which is the Fearless River, fast moving lazy river. So you don't have to worry about putting those on your bracelet. You just go to those and you ride them. But say if you see a 15 minute wait, like for oh yeah or 20 minute for oh no, you have to get a return time by pushing select here. Right now we have a return time for the water roller coaster, so we cannot get in line for oh yeah. So because this is an accessible unit too, I believe that they can turn this on in case you cannot reach the touchpad up here. You can use these buttons down here to select anything. We also have our very own volume control where we can turn up the music inside of our cabana. You gonna dance, buddy? Crank it up. <laughs> and then right underneath that, there's a big sign that says fan control. I thought maybe we could turn up the fan, but we can't, we can just turn it off or on. You gonna turn it off, buddy? All right, we turned off the fan. It's very hot out, so I'm gonna leave it on, okay? I have a feeling we're gonna have varying degrees of volume throughout the day dancing there's also a trash can in here which is very nice especially with a young child that's still in diapers Jen took the cellophane off of our fruit basket and this is what it looks like nice cookie on top apple orange grapes I forgot the name of pineapple for a second <laughs> some danishes and some muffins we ate one of the muffins already oh, don't also, tell anybody I kind of thought the cookie would be wrapped oh yeah but it was inside of the cellophane right yeah so just like the apple and the grapes you know Right. So yeah, this is great. I'm excited. Also, one of the things I really love about Volcano Bay is the food. The food is really good here. Yeah, it is. One of the things I remember really loving was the coconut shrimp. So okay. I might have that today. So I do also want to point out that we have a cabana, so we have a touch point inside of our cabana. If you're not staying in a cabana, you do have to get a return time for the rides by going to the physical ride. So that's one of the things that makes having a cabana great is that you do not have to worry about going to the physical ride in order to get a return time for a ride. So take for instance, if I wanted to go on Oh Yeah, I can do it from here. Like I can get a return time for Oh Yeah, as long as I don't have any other return time, I can get a return time for whatever I want from this location here. Otherwise, Oh Yeah is on the other side of the park from us right now. So I would have to walk all the way over to Oh Yeah, tap my tap point there, and then go about waiting for my return time. I just wanted to show this to you really quick because it really is a sign of the times. It says, wash your hands often with soap and water. That's a, a, a notification that came through on our Tapu Tapu. Also wanted to point out that it's been enough time that our Krakatau time is up and you'll notice that it says return anytime. So that means that as long as we don't get another 
return time, we can use this return time for Krakatau at any time during the day. So, right now we're not ready to ride it, so maybe in like 15-20 minutes we will be ready to ride it and we'll be able to tap on. So I did also want to point out that the rules at Volcano Bay dictate that we cannot film or bring any loose items on any of the rides. So we will not have any ride footage from today. However, we have filmed on the rides when the park first opened and they were allowing people to film on the rides. So the rules have changed, but when the park first opened, we were allowed to film on the rides. So we do have footage from some of the rides that we will be riding today, but be warned, it is old footage. So I might have a mustache, might be missing a tattoo, things will look different, but we might put in some footage from some of the rides today. So stay tuned. We're gonna get our bathing suits on, maybe go into Tatiki Reef. You never know, the world is our oyster. Oh, this is pretty neat. When nobody is using the touch point, it falls asleep. Woke him up for a second there. I wonder if it's when you walk up near it that it wakes up, because I wasn't anywhere near it, and then I walked over to it and he kind of woke up. Huh. Interesting. We'll leave it alone for a little bit and see if it goes back. Ah! Oh, I forgot you were in control of it. Just ready to party. And now it's time for us to go and get in the water. First stop, Tatiki Reef. So the next clip you see will be on a GoPro. Fun thing about our location for our cabana, which is right there, there is a photo spot right here. So you tap your Tapu Tapu, and then you come over here, and you look at the camera, and it'll take a photo for you. Unfortunately, they do cost money, but it is a nice little photo spot because you'll have Krakatau back behind you. Quite picturesque. Or you could just bring your own camera over here and be like, Also, there are Tapu Tapu touch points around. So if I tap my Tapu Tapu on this, there's a, a tiki right here that sprays water on everybody. So it's getting soaked right now because of me. Another thing to mention is that right here is a designated smoking area. So if you're interested in finding where the smoking, I love the little tikis for the smoking area. So if you need to find a smoking area, we're basically right across from the entrance to Kraken Tau. So right there is the entrance to Kraken Tau. And then right behind me, that's the path that we took from our cabana, and then there's a smoking area over there too. We're also right next to Walk Away Way Eats. Do your Tapu Tapu, Jen. It made that fountain right there. It's not a very exciting fountain, is it? I mean, it's just for atmosphere. Oh yeah, I thought it was a place to, to sanitize people. No, no. So our first stop, Tahiki Reef. A beautiful view of Krakatau in the background. So it is a little bit confusing because the sign for it's over here, but there's no entrance over here. You have to go over to the entrance of Runamucka Reef and you will find the two different children's play areas. There's Runamucka Reef off to the right and Tatiki Reef off to the left. So it's basically like a big splash pad spot for the little buddy to play in. What do you think? Are you allowed to run out the line? Yeah. Big volcano? Well, this one, this one is uh, a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Like, the splash is a lot bigger. Whoa, there it was. Whoa. 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 What do you think? Oh, oh. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know there was a step. 
Okay, fail. Oh, you did great. <laughs> that was me and Magic Kingdom. At least you didn't twist your ankle. Just as a warning to you all, there are stairs in this section. I, yeah. <laughs> I wish somebody warned me. Yeah, these are all kids' flies over here. Whoa, there it goes again. So this entire section over here is Runamucka Reef. And these are all kids' slides and kids' play areas. I don't know what the height restriction is, but it is for the younger demographic. There it goes. Telling you, I could watch this kid go down water slides all day. And trust me, this is not the, the last time he'll be going down water slides. One, two, three, wee! Ah. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna go watch Daddy and Buddy go down the big slide together. This one I think is Jackson's favorite. Yeah. Here we go, let's wait for Daddy. Hold on. Hold on. Ready? Oh. Two, three. <laughs> Big splash down! Splash it! So we got some lunch. This is Jackson's chicken tenders. Oh, it comes with barbecue sauce and honey Dijon, or these hot. You gonna have a French fry? You can hold it. Hold it, buddy. Can you is hold it? Hot? it? No. Okay. So oh, honey it's Dijon. A little edible flower. Oh, that's an orchid. I don't know if those, are, are orchids edible. Oh, I don't know. I mean, he gets a flower. <laughs> so like you said, barbecue sauce and honey Dijon. And it looks like he gets four chicken, five, four and a half sort of chicken tenders. And a bunch of French fries. And then you got the salmon. It's the salmon entree platter. So it is a larger meal. It's a glazed salmon. It didn't say what it was glazed in. Um, it looks like a, maybe teriyaki or something like that. I have some coconut rice, 
some fried plantains, and then a little slaw. I think it was a mango basil slaw. Oh yeah. Looks good. And then I got the Rika burger. It's a burger with onions, bacon, and barbecue sauce on it. It has a pepper jack cheese. Ooh. And then I got some french fries and a flour and... This was the cucumber and tomato salad. Okay. Then we also got the poo-poo platter, which has the coconut shrimp, the conch fritters, and then some little spring rolls. We got some... This is the sauce that goes with the conch fritters, with some kind of remoulade, and then... Or this was an aioli, and then this was an orange marmalade remoulade. And another flour! You got an orchid, buddy. Is it so pretty? You smell it? You smelling your flower? Give it a smell. Buddy, after lunch, we're going to try to unlock an achievement with you. We're going to try to put you to sleep over here and have you nap in the cabana. So when we were at Discovery Cove, I'll link that video down below, he napped at Discovery Cove on one of the lounge chairs. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. He was a lot younger, though, so... That was when he was doing two naps a day. Yeah. So he was really tired by that point. That's true. But he looks pretty tired. He's, he had a lot of sliding today. <laughs> you got more sliding to do after your nap, too. that is closest to our cabana is Maku Puihi, and this is actually two different slides. I think we've done both sides of this and have it recorded. We'll put that footage in right now. Time to ride Puihi. And backwards. Oh! Whoa! Oh, oh, okay, all right, okay. Oh, we made it. Whoa, oh, 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 jeez Louise. Oh, man. Woo. Last dump. Oh. I'm all out of the car. Where was the truck? I didn't get the truck. I guess it did that because they didn't want you to. Oh. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh. I wanted to give you an example of a tapu tapu point that is not in a cabana. So, like I said, we can tap on any ride, but to do Puihi, you need to come to this tap point. And there's another three over here for Maku right there. So, if you want to ride either of those two, you tap here. Also, it should be noted that they do have a headphone jack if you need audio assistance. So after showing that tap point, I should point out that uh, there's kind of a misconception about Volcano Bay. People think there's no lines at Volcano Bay. There are lines. It's a virtual wait. So you are tapping in and you wait for the ride as you're walking around or as you're in the river or as you're in the wave pool. So you are in line. You're just not standing in a physical line. So it's kind of like, I feel like people here, virtual wait, like you don't have to wait in line, but you do, you're still waiting in line. It's just not a physical line. And then you have to spend like the last 10, 15 minutes waiting in the physical line with everybody that came back at your same return time. So there's a little tiny bit of a line when you come back to the ride. Here's the splashdown of Maku Puihi. I wanted to point out that you do not have to carry your tubes 
all the way up the stairs, they have a little conveyor belt that brings them up to the top. So you don't have to worry about carrying up a tube. So over here, near the exit of Maku Puihi, which is kind of right over here, there is a restaurant called Bamboo Jungle Kitchen. And they've got a pretty delicious burger there. That's pretty, I think where the burger that I ordered came from. And I did want to point out that over here, in between Maku Puihi and the Bamboo Jungle Kitchen is my favorite locker room. And those locker rooms and bathrooms are called the Rainforest Village Restrooms and Lockers. And these are the best because they're in the very back of the park. So nobody really heads to it when the park first opens. People usually stop at the first bathroom or locker rooms that they see. And these would be the last ones. They're not as crowded as the rest of them. And over here in between the ride and the restrooms, there is a pathway that is for team members only, or this is what they call the employees here as team members. So we believe that there's an expansion pad back there to expand on Volcano Bay eventually, maybe add another ride or two back there. Hopefully that happens at some point. While I'm over here by the restaurant, I did want to point out they also have mobile ordering available. So you can order on your phone and then come and pick it up when it's ready. Don't have to wait in line because there kind of is a long line for it right now. As we're walking around, another thing I wanted to point out is that they do have jets that spray the ground with some cool water because the dry areas of cement do get really hot. Be aware of that for if you bring a small child out here, it will be hot on their feet. You can kind of see some of the misting happening over here. Also watering the plants and cooling off people's feet. These are some of my favorite slides here. You do have to be a good swimmer to go down them. This is Oh No and Oh Yeah. Oh No is the taller one, it drops you six feet Whereas oh yeah, it drops you four feet into the water. You can see it's a body slide. You lay back and then you fly out of the bottom. There's also another shallow pool over here, just on the other side. We do have some footage of these rides and we'll put that in right now. And there it is, Krakatau. Got three slides inside of Krakatau. We got one big 300 foot drop slide that just drops you straight down. It drops the floor out from underneath you. And then two twisting serpentine slides that drop the floors out from underneath you called Kala and Tenu. Also, it is very busy here now. It wasn't this busy when we first got here. There's an interactive Tapu Tapu here where you're supposed to then talk into it and it'll make the water come up higher or lower if you're yelling at it. So I don't know how to show that with here, me here by myself. I can't yell into it and show it on the camera. But just take my word for it. If you yell into this hole, the water will go up higher. It really is a beautiful, beautiful centerpiece here at Volcano Bay. And of course, one of the longest lines at Volcano Bay is over here at the Dancing Dragons Bar. I also wanted to point out it is later in the day, so they're all gone right now, but they do provide life vests if you need them. Also, this is a toddler size, I think, infant. So we might bring this back to Jackson, see if he'll fit in it, and then we can take him in the river and kind of hang out in some of the deeper water. Kokuri Body Plunge. It's called the Big Body Plunge, because this is it. This is the 300 foot drop slide. You just heard it come out. Somebody just dropped, and they should be reaching the end right there. And we just heard the waves are gonna be starting in the wave pool over there. That's what that music means and the bell strikes. And then these two is Hono Ika Moana. And that's two different slides. One's Hono and one's Ika Moana. So these are the last family slides that we get to see here. I don't get to ride any of these today because you need at least two people to ride on the family slides. They just turned on the mist and I wish they hadn't because when we rode this on Friday, that mist made it hard to see where you were. Here's the big drop. This is the relaxing part of the ride now. <laughs> we did it. So sorry, I'm shooting through a fence right now, but while Jackson was sleeping, I got to ride on Krakatau 
their water roller coaster and they let me ride by myself, which I think is a new thing. They have the sign out front said any riders anywhere from one to four, you get a lot of airtime by yourself. That's what it's like right there. A lot of ups and a lot of downs. They are powered lift hills. They use magnets to propel the rafts up hills. Also, there's a photo opportunity. I just now noticed that they have these statues here spraying water and then they turn off when a raft comes and then turn back on when they're done. Thank you. Here we go. We'll put it up here. Whoa! What did you guys think? It was a very wet ride, but we did it. Oh. Well, that was fun. And then my second favorite ride here is Punga Racers, because you guys know I love mat racers. And that's what these are, right here. The time I rode this mat slide, it had a completely different splashdown. Now it's got a nice and slow splashdown. They completely redid the entire ending of the ride. The two slides that are always ride now, which is basically just like any other water park in the world where you just kind of wait for it, are the Taniwa tubes, the blue slide and the green slide. Also, theoretically, these slides should put through a lot of people because there's two on either side and each one carries two people. It just had a big eruption. Hopefully we'll catch that at some point today. That was cool looking, but I I got onto the slower side, so that's okay though. I think we'll ride the green one. Here we go! Oh, I got the fast green side. Woohoo! Yeah! Whoa! Oh, we're really picking up speed. Woo! Oh, the nice outdoor. Whoa! Look at how big it got. Whoa! Wee! Oh, this is relaxing. Oh, here's a little drop. Woohoo! Whoa! Yeah, we're, we're kind of going a little bit slow. The blue one is definitely a lot faster than this one, but it's still fun. Oh, we're picking up speed now. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Whoa! Yeah, we go. Oh, oh, my butt's bottoming out because we got so many G forces. Woo! Whoa! 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 All right, so I'm back from walking around. Jackson's awake. So now it's time to go have some fun. What do you think, buddy? Should we go in the Lazy River? We don't actually know if he's allowed in the Lazy River, so we're going to go check that out. I, got, I did find out that they do have infant-sized life vests. Okay. Which, he's not an infant anymore, but this should still fit him. So... We'll give it a try. We'll put him in this and take him in the Lazy River, see how he does. We are going to switch over to the GoPro though, so we will let you know when we get over there if we're allowed to go in. If not, we'll go back to the kitty area. Oh, okay, so it says that children under 48 inches must wear a life vest. Oh, so, he so he can go in it. So we're heading to the Winding River. This is everybody's shoes. Oh, the shoes. Those are not your shoes, buddy. <laughs> it's like, whose shoes are these? I need to know. Right? Whose shoes? Okay, buddy. Let's right, so put, we're gonna this put you in this life vest. All right up. Let's okay. See, buddy. Sexy, let me see you in your cool thing. You gotta let daddy hold you though, I think. I got him. He's got a little handle. <laughs> oh, no. Makes life easy. Say hi, mommy. Say hi, mommy. Wave at mommy. Say wave at mommy. <laughs> Where are you trying to go? You wanna kick? Do your dance. You wanna dance? I wanna do those feet. 
dancing, dancing, <laughs> dancing. This is a slide. This is a slide. This wow. is Hono Ika Moana. Hono Ika Moana. He's flashing. Are you waving at the little sprinkles? Uh oh, they're gonna water squirt us. Uh oh. They're gonna water squirt us. They're gonna squirt us, buddy. Say, don't squirt us, please. <laughs> please don't squirt us. Oh no, they're gonna squirt us. I think, oh, we're, no. I think we're in the safe zone. Buddy. <laughs> Come on, Ethan. It is real busy here today. This looks like they have removed all capacity restrictions because this wave pool is full of people. What do you think, buddy? You like those little waves? Yeah, you're getting splashed by the waves. Uh-oh. Yes, waves. Stomp them out. Stomp those waves. Stomp. Stomp. Stomp them. Stomp them. Stomp them. Stomp them. Yeah. So we came back to the cabana and we wanted to show you all something. Mako and Puihi are closed right now, which are the two that are right behind us here. And that's actually, we noticed our cabana has a back wall, whereas the other ones have the curtains there. And that's because the touch points for Mako and Puihi are right there. Yeah. Like right on the other side. I have to say, if you have, if you're getting a cabana and you have a toddler or a kid that needs to sleep during the day, this was great because it, it created a little bit more shade inside. I think our cabana was a little bit cooler. You know what just happened? What? They just opened back up. Oh, which did? Both those Maku and Puihi. Oh, okay. Like while you were talking, I saw it flash and I was like, what's that? Oh, that's so funny. 15 minute wait. So wait, go back up to Krakatau. Oh, that one's down here. So Krakatau, yeah. is, it's full. So that means that the wait time, the virtual wait time exceeds the park hours. Yeah, so I'm glad that we got our 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 time earlier this morning. Yeah, I wrote I it already. I still haven't written it. Yeah, I still haven't written it. So I need to do it before we leave today. It's like 4.30 right now. Yeah. So if you get a cabana, another thing you should know is that last call is at 5. So last call for drinks and for food is at 5 p.m. But the um, park doesn't close until 7. Right. So you can still buy food at the open food locations. You just can't order food from your server in the cabana. You'd have okay. to leave your cabana, go to the food location, order the food, pick it up there, and bring it back to your cabana after 5 p.m. Right. So, um, which is honestly, like, you have your, your uh, server at the cabana for pretty much the whole day. Yeah. So as, as cabana guests, we can get in at 9, an hour before the park opens. Mm -hmm. And we have our server from nine until five. Yeah. So full eight hours. Really awesome. She's working nine to five. She really was. <laughs> Go ride Krakatau. Okay. <laughs> it's my, it says return anytime. It said this for a good like eight hours now. So I'm gonna go do it. All right. All right, bye. All right, there's Jen up there. We're hoping to catch her going down the slide. So I'm watching to see when she gets on. All right, so we're all packed up. Jackson's got his cool hat on that he won't wear. We tried. Um, I want to say that I loved the cabana. I thought this was amazing. I feel like the only bad thing about getting a cabana is that now every time I'm going to wish we had a cabana. Right. And it's definitely not something we can do every time. This is like a very special occasion type thing. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to miss it. But I will say we are going to be coming back to Volcano Bay. I upgraded my pass to a three park pass. You already had a three park pass. Yeah. So we're good to go. Right, and Jackson loved Tatiki Reef. He was so cute. We showed you probably about one-tenth of the amount of times that he went down that slide. He loved the slide. He was just like, he would come down and he would go back up. He would come down and he would go back up. Hey buddy, are you showing everybody that you're sitting in your chair? Look at that little buddy sized chair that we have here. I can't wait to come back to Volcano Bay. I can't wait to see like how good he sleeps tonight. Oh yeah. Me too, I'm gonna sleep so good. I'll sleep okay. <laughs> Whenever Jackson's not in the stroller, it's hard because he wants to stop and smell every flower. In a tropical paradise like Volcano Bay, it's a lot of stopping. <laughs> yep, yeah. those are more flowers. Let's see. Okay. I'm so excited. What do they smell like, bud? Oh my gosh. 
when he ran up, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It smelled good. It's so nice. I thought about it. Park closes in about a half an hour. It's been a fantastic day here. This is the first time in a long time that we've spent an entire day somewhere. And Jackson napped while we were there. Okay. Right? We're going to try to take a photo, but so we picked a flower. You picked a flower. Don't tell Volcano Bay. Don't tell Mr. Volcano. <laughs> there he is. This stone head will actually talk to you if you stand here long enough. I'm not saying anything right now. <laughs> what? He just said, hey, hey, you, and then just laughed. He's like, major look. Yeah. <laughs> All right, last stop. We're going to get the Waturi Fusion. A mixture of banana, blue raspberry, orange, and strawberry. Should we get it in a cone or a cup? So uh, we tried to get the Waturi Fusion, but they said they were all, it was like the machine broke down for the day. So she did say, she gave us a tip. If you want to do the rainbow, the Waturi Fusion ice cream, you need to do it in the morning. Yeah. She said, try to do it before noon. Because um, the line wraps around the building and they're slammed. And then usually that's when the machine breaks. So right. uh, next time we come, that's the first thing we'll do is we'll get the ice cream. Get ice cream right away. Ice cream for breakfast. But it can't beat it. Another thing I wanted to mention before we leave for the day is I did get to ride Krakatau. It was amazing. Just as awesome as I remember. But a few boats ahead of me, or a few rafts ahead of me, um, they got stuck. Yeah. They went, so when you first get on the ride, you go down and then straight up into like a hill. They didn't make it over the hill. The very first hill. The very first hill. What is it? Oh, the big flowers. Oh. Those are big white flowers. They're like the big... I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, they're right here. So, Jackson loves his flowers. But we, um... That boat didn't make it all the way through, so my ride was actually delayed quite a bit. I did finally get on, but I couldn't ride by myself. So Tim got to ride by himself. He was the only person in his boat. Yeah. But me, they made me sit with two other people. Right. And I felt really bad because it was their first time riding it, and I had to sit in between them. Oh. I know, and I was like, I'm really sorry. I don't have to ride with you if you don't want me to. But they were so nice. They were like, no, no, it's fine. And um, I think that was just because it had gone down. Right, yeah. So I, We had a really great ride. And thank you to the, the guys that let me ride with them. I appreciate it. <laughs> so all in all, it was a fantastic day. I loved it here today. Me too. Had a great time. Jackson loved it. Jackson loved Tatiki Reef. Thumbs this video up if you want us to come back. Yeah. Because I want to come back. <laughs> so all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm Melanie. And we're from Orlando, Florida. And now, now it's, it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.